Now we move on to look at the third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves, the ocular motor, trochlear and abducent. They're motor nerves. Between them they supply the six muscles that move the eye and also the levator of the upper lid. As we've seen, the ocular motor nerve arises between the cerebral peduncles, the trochlear nerve arises from the back of the midbrain, and the abducent nerve arises below the pons. The bony opening that these three nerves pass through is the superior orbital fissure, but their openings in the dura are quite a bit further back. The ocular motor nerve passes through the dura just alongside the posterior clinoid process, which is here. The trochlear nerve passes through the dura here. The abducent nerve down here. To follow them, we'll remove the dura over this area. We'll also remove this structure that we'll see later, the trigeminal ganglion. This cavity that we've opened into is the cavernous sinus. In the living body, it's filled with venous blood. Within the cavernous sinus lies the internal carotid artery. The third, fourth and sixth nerves pass forward in the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus. Here's the ocular motor, here's the trochlear, here's the abducent. All three nerves pass forward into the orbit through the superior orbital fissure, which is here. The seven muscles in the orbit that these nerves supply are the four rectus muscles, the two oblique muscles, and the levator of the upper lid. The ocular motor nerve supplies five muscles. The trochlear and abducent nerves supply just one muscle each. To follow these nerves, we'll move forward to the orbit again. We'll divide and displace the two muscles in the roof of the orbit. These are the levator of the upper eyelid, levator palpebri superioris, and beneath it, the superior rectus muscle. Here's the optic nerve, as we've seen already. Here's the superior oblique muscle going round its pulley, or trochlea. Here are the medial rectus and lateral rectus muscles. We'll go round to a front view to see the nerves better. The ocular motor nerve divides into an upper and lower branch. Here's the upper branch supplying the levator palpebri superioris and superior rectus muscles. To see the lower branch, we'll remove the optic nerve. Here again are the medial and lateral rectus muscles. Down here is the inferior rectus. The only muscle not on view here is the inferior oblique, which is beneath the eyeball here. Here's the lower branch of the oculomotor nerve. It supplies the medial rectus and inferior rectus and the inferior oblique muscles. In addition, through these short ciliary nerves, the oculomotor nerve contributes to the autonomic supply to the intraocular muscles that control the size of the pupil and the shape of the lens. Here's the trochlear nerve, the fourth cranial nerve. It supplies just the superior oblique muscle. Here's the abducent nerve, the sixth, supplying its one muscle, the lateral rectus, which abducts the eye. We'll be returning to the orbit once again in just a minute to look at branches of the fifth nerve, the trigeminal. For now, we'll replace the contents of the orbit, including this nerve, the frontal nerve, which is part of what we'll come to next.